Next question, Lindsay Huddleston. Hey, Mel, uh, good to see you. Uh, nice setup, by the way. Uh, this is March, and we are talking football, but with March Madness, I'm just curious, is there any added pressure for you or your program after the early departure of the Spartans from the NCAA tournament? Yeah, uh, thanks, Lizzie. Always good to always good to see you. Um, I don't I don't feel any added pressure. Um, I mean, pressure is uh, that's a that's a it's an interesting word. You know, how do you how do you look at pressure? And, you know, what it, what really is pressure? To me, you know, pressure is a privilege. You know, pressure, uh, you know, means that people care, um, but the amount of pressure that we put on ourselves internally. Is uh, I don't even know if you can I don't even know if you can measure it um, because um, you know we have an experienced coaching staff we have motivated players um, and we know, um, you know what the expectations are we know what the you know, we have stand we have we have our own standards you know, we have our we have goals you know, we have uh, intrinsic motivation. And um, you know, there I, I can't. There's never been. A, I've never coached anywhere where the expectation was not to win every game. I mean, I can't. I mean, whether it was Michigan State when I was here in the '90s, late '90s, or Miami of Ohio, or LSU, or Ohio State, or Cleveland, Jacksonville, Chicago, Alabama, Georgia. I mean, you're expected to win, and so. I mean, there's 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 no there's no external factor that's going to affect, you know, our process and our preparation. And if there's no additional, there's no additional pressure, you know. Um, but whatever whatever pressure we do have is a privilege, and not only do you accept uh, accept the pressure um, and embrace it, but you also apply it. Question, we'll go to Lindsay Huddleston. Hey, Quan, uh, congratulations on your pro day. Congratulations on getting your degree too. I know that's very important to you uh, and Thank your you. family. You've played in big games all your life. Can you compare the big games to your actual pro day, uh, anxiety, you know, uh, pressure, or just compare the two, or is there no comparison when it comes to a pro day? Yeah, I was, uh, I actually was just asked this question the other day. Thank you. Um, uh, I, you know, I never really get nervous before games, you know, just because I, I mean, I feel like I've prepared myself, you know, throughout the week. And then, it, I mean, it's football at the end of the day. I've been playing football since I was five years old. So I don't feed into like the crowd or who we're playing against. You know, I, I never have nerves going into a game. But today I was a little nervous coming in here today, waking up this morning. And uh, I felt that because just like even with all the preparation I'm doing, you, you don't really know. It's uncertain what you're going to bench, what you're going to run. And, you know, just the nerves built up a little bit, but I was able to push that to the side. And, you know, by the time I got to position drills, it was just football again. So I was just having fun with it. Great. And a quick follow up. I pose this to your teammate, uh, Shaq. You know, go mm -hmm. to your younger self, even though people say, hey, man, you got a big body, you may go to the NFL. What advice would you give your younger self then or any other young person who has NFL hopes at an early age? Um, I hear this all the time. And it's kind of cliche, but like, you know, it's, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And, you know, results aren't going to come overnight. It's something that you have to work towards. Um, I, I would ask my trainer every day, like I would lose a pound or two, and I'm like, damn, when am I going to? Sorry, it's too late, but when am I going to get to my goal weight? And I noticed that, like, you just have to continuously like keep doing the right things, and it, you know, it paid off. I was, I haven't weighed 313, I don't think, since high school, and that's the lowest weight I've been in a while. And I, you know, I set my mind to that, and you know, it's. It's, it's all there, you know, it's all there for the taking. So if you just set your mind to it, you know, everything is attainable. Excellent. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Next question is from Lindsey Huddles. Hey, Tom, I'll try to lighten the load a little bit. Um, you started the season with an unwanted home confinement with COVID but now uh, a well-received hotel confinement because that means you have the possibility of dancing. Can you reflect on the start of the season and being at home and now having to welcome these COVID protocols? God, Lindsay, only you could come up with good questions. That makes sense to me. Um, Thanks, man. You know, the one at home, um, I learned that it wasn't a lot of fun to stay in a beautiful basement 
a sauna and a TV and a weight room and kitchen. I hated my basement. Uh, all 11 days of it down there. I hated every minute of it. That shows you that even then I was probably ungrateful. I was luckier than 90% of the people that had the damn virus. But, um, you know, now, um, you know, it, it might be good to hide out. I told my players, stay off that damn social media. And uh, you guys can, you can tell those people say anything they want about me because I'm not on it. So it doesn't, doesn't even phase me. And the only other person I care about, my mother's not on it. So the two of us aren't on it, so who cares? But, um, I, you know, I'm going to use this time because I do think, I don't think we're good enough to beat anybody. We've proven we're good enough to beat anybody. But our margin for error is very slim. Our, uh, our leadership today, you know, uh, Joshua looked really tired to me today. And, boy, we, you know, we kept him out of three out of the last four days. And, and maybe we did the wrong thing there. You know, this whole year has been a guessing game. But there's not a better kid in America than him. And it just wasn't just the play. It was the energy. You know, you need leadership. And, and uh, so I think that the, the three leaders on the team, Aaron tried, Joshua was down a little bit. And Izzo was not very good either. So two of the three didn't do their job. And uh, the one that should have the most experienced maturity We'll never blame the other ones because he should be doing a better job himself. So I'm disappointed in myself that I let it get to that point, but it did. And, uh, you know, I always say, you gotta be able to self-evaluate. So the good news is I'll go in that room, you know, nobody's allowed in our rooms, but by ourselves, I'm gonna beat the hell out of myself tonight for it. And uh, that'll be okay. That'll be good. All right, thanks. Thank you. Players are amazing now. You know, everybody's got an answer for what they do. I mean, it's all of them. But Josh Langford, um, you know, his game has been good. Tonight he's only two for seven, but he makes big blocks. Uh, he, he, you know, he makes a couple of free throws that are critical. Uh, gets a few rebounds. He, he gets five assists, you know. But all those things don't compare to how he's been every practice, every huddle, every locker room. I mean, I've, I've found myself a guy who, um, he's been through so much. I think it's so important to him. I always talk about liking, loving, or living. He lives it, and he's, he's even going out of his personality. His personality is kind of quiet, and I just loved it when he really showed some passion and emotion, and he did it in a classier way than I would, of course, but it's fun to watch him, you know, take that over. And that's what I started with my team. It'll end when I'm dead. You know, player coach teams are very valuable, very important. And uh, I can go to Josh now and, and say, you know, what do you think? What do you do? And again, I don't, I don't want to make it like I'm just trying to give him kudos, but Foster Lawyer's been so good on that bench, man. He's got play sheets and play cards, and um, God, he's, you know, my, my captains have acted like captains, and uh, that is so good to see people grow, not just as players. Uh, they're all really good students, but they've all grown as people, and for that, I'm, I'm proud. I really am.